perhaps the hardest part of BMS implementation for LIFO4 is integrating the BMS with the components on your boat to charge and discharge and stop them from charging or discharging and preventing battery damage. So right now you can see I'm using the Electrodocus and figuring out how to accomplish this and um, it has these ports here that are pretty low amperage so what in this video what I'm going to do is look for uh, a way to use these passive components and a off-the-shelf relay that that can easily be found and we're going to just take a transistor and a capacitor and a couple of resistors and one of these relay modules and we're going to hook up to an MLRBS uh, Blue C's for emergency shutoff of my LiPo 4 battery pack. In this video we're going to discuss interfacing the BMS to this MLRBS 7700 relay and specifically we're going to look at being able to put signals on this orange wire to be able to turn this relay off a quick look at the circuit now. Here's the proof that the circuit works. We're going to push down the plunger. This is a MLRBS 7000. Uh, all hooked up to power. And here's the circuit power supply. This simulates a battery. And what we're going to do is Take this momentary switch, press it down, the relay went on momentarily, and the relay over there, the Blue Seas relay, is off now. So how would that look on the oscilloscope? Uh, so what's happening is the blue is going to be the input and the yellow is going to be the relay output. So what happens is we come along, I press the button, it goes high, and then the um, the yellow line, which is the output to the relay, goes low for about 500 milliseconds and then it goes back up again and everything says, stays high. The BMS output and the relay output remain high. So and that so again that's a, this is the 200 millisecond scale here and uh, that's kind of what we're looking at there. And here is the Blue Seas relay here and here is the BMS. Now this BMS needs to send output to the rest of the system to be able to take action if it sees a problem with the batteries. So either these BMSs have optocouplers or relays and generally speaking we might get a high here um, and then that high from the BMS will go to this pulse module uh, circuit that I'm going to review later um, and then I'm, I'm going to uh, translate that into onto a relay module and then I'm going to actuate this this Blue Seas module. Uh, but at the same time when this signal goes high from the BMS of course we're going to be taking action shutting off a, a lot of other pieces of equipment. So the circuit that I'm looking at is I've modeled my circuit off after is a successful circuit by uh, SY Destiny. He's over on the face this Facebook group um, lithium batteries on but what I'm doing is I'm taking in a, a uh, an input from the BMS and then I'm I'm outputting it to the relay module. Um, so we'll take a quick look at the relay module 
you just uh, power it here. It's, tw it's uh, 12 volts. You can probably buy these in 24 volts. And you can set this whether it's going to trigger on high or trigger on low. I have it right now triggering on low. The rest of the module um, has just conventional relay setup. There's plenty of videos on the internet that will show you how to hook this up. But what I've chosen to do is hook it up uh, to common on the orange wire uh, schematic mode and um, run this simulation. Uh, and, you're, and the thing to do is watch this LED here and you'll see what I'm talking about. So you see it flash and that, that's it flashed and uh, flashed and, and turned the relay module on and off. One thing that we need to discuss is what about these BMSs? So the BMSs are trying to control usually these devices and they generally have these, these um, output ports. Now some are relays like I showed you here they have these kind of relays there that are very high voltage. Some, though, have very low amperage, um, you know, capability. So for those things, we need to drive, we need to take a signal out of the BMS and pass it over to here, okay? It just so happens, though, we have a situation... Um, here that this thing is going to take a lot of amperage to drive it so we definitely can't drive it with a BMS and we're going to have to drive it with one of these however we need to make sure we pulse this so that in lies therein lies the problem so here's a shot of what an optocoupler is on this BMS that I'm uh, contemplating using um, it's this uh, this BMS here um, so what we need to do is uh, figure out how to get a high out of out of this optocoupler and so what we're going to do is hook a, a voltage up to that and then so when this thing trips I'm getting some pretty uh, good voltage. In this case, it's going to be about 12 volts. I'm going to get out or actually battery voltage, which is going to be closer to 14 volts. What we're going to have is we're going to have a signal coming from the BMS, the opto isolator or a, a relay, and uh, kind of ignore this battery here because I, I needed to put it into the schematic. Uh, but we're going to go into a diode that's going to create some sort of uh, reverse voltage protection. And uh, ignore this switch there. That was just for my test again. And then we're going to hit this capacitor here. That's going to be a timing compa capacitor. So that's what's going to provide the, the length of time that this pulse is going to last. And that uh, pulse will cause this transistor to uh, close and that closure will cause the pulse to go over to the relay module. And uh, the rest of these resistors are mainly uh, pull down resistors. Here's the um, block that I was telling you about where you could decide to set the relay high or low. Right now I have it set to where it's going to respond to a low signal uh, for relay 1. This relay is going to uh, respond to a low signal and um, here's the power. Okay and here's input number one that comes out of my circuit uh, so i'm hooked up here 
to uh, a, a breadboard here. This is a little more complicated than uh, <laughs> there's a few other things going on here. So I have a power supply hooked up here, uh, a separate power supply, uh, just so I can um, make sure that my loads are correct. Here, over here, is an opto isolator, and uh, this chip here emulates what my BMS is actually going to be outputting. And so what I'm doing here is uh, inputting, here's the diode and, and the cap and the transistor and everything here. So we can take a quick look at the power supply. Right now, quiescently, I'm outputting uh, 10 milliamps. And that is the load that includes uh, this relay and this uh, all this breadboard circuitry including the opto isolator. This capacitor and a transistor makes this all possible. I know it was a long video. I'm going to also be exploring in the future um, more microprocessor based controls um, and see what I like best. Um, stay tuned for the next video.